Hello YouTube! Today we're here to talk about Liquid Sky. Now Liquid Sky is a name that you might have heard about already. So they're one of the bigger names in cloud gaming and they're a fully released product compared to some of the other ones that are in beta or alpha that we've looked at already or that we will look at soon. It's one of the few that's completely released, should have all of its features in place and should be ready to go. So in this video I'm going to show you what Liquid Sky is all about so we'll talk about some of those details. I'm going to show you some gameplay and uh, we'll talk a little bit more as well because there's some things that you really should know about Liquid Sky. I want to talk to you a little bit about my experience as I've tested it for you. And uh, in the video, we're going to feature two games. We're going to talk about GTA 5 and Fortnite. And uh, just to kind of start with a few of the details that I want you to know before we jump into gameplay, um, the way Liquid Sky works is that you can either subscribe to it monthly, so you can pay a set amount per month to have unlimited hours of gameplay on a machine of your choice, or you can buy a package of Sky credits and you can spend those on whatever machines you choose and then basically when you're out of credits you either have to buy more or you're done. And Liquid Sky offers you the choice of two different machines that you can stream from. So you can stream either from what they call the Gamer Package or from the Pro Package. The Gamer Package gives you a machine that has a 3 core CPU and a 2 gigabyte GPU for graphics. The Pro Package basically doubles all that. So you get a 6-core CPU and then a 4-gigabyte GPU. And uh, I'm going to show you what games look like on each of those systems because I basically you know, bought the uh, package of credits so that I could test both of them for you and show you some examples. And uh, you know, basically that's, that's what I want to start off with. But I do want to encourage you to wait and to watch the end of the video as well because there are some things about Liquid Sky that you do need to know. And then as a little bonus, I do have some gameplay near the end of the video that shows off their mobile app on Android. So if you want to see what it looks like to play on Android, you'll see some examples at the very end of the video as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into gameplay. We're going to showcase basically each of those games on both the Gamer Package and the Pro Package.
right so hopefully you guys liked what you saw in that video so the I think that the takeaway is that the gamer package looks pretty good the pro package also looks good and there is a noticeable difference between the two now here's my take so on when you talk about the gamer package both of the games basically had everything on low so you can still play at 1080p you can still accomplish 60 frames per second for the most part but you had everything else turned off so no anti-aliasing um, no shadows for the most part so things were, were a little less refined in that sense now with the pro package you could turn on anti-aliasing you could have shadows turned on you could turn on you know textures and boost those you know, add extra effects like particles and grass and stuff like that but here's my thing so the gamer package is 60 credits per hour the pro package is 120 credits per hour and I don't know that in my opinion that the pro package was necessarily double the quality of the gamer package and and uh, I'd be curious to know if you agree with me so let me know in the comments below do you think that the difference in quality between the gamer package and the pro package justifies double the price because that's really what it comes down to so that's something that kind of stuck out to me personally um, and, and I will say this right away if you try to run all the settings on high or ultra for either one of those games it does not run smoothly on the pro package period for either one of those titles that we tested so it's a mixture of, of stuff so you, you can definitely turn on features that are not available in the gamer package because of the low power but you can't turn on everything on high or ultra you know kind of like they advertise and when you compare that to some of the competition like you know to throw out an example when you use Parsec and you use um, something like paper space Paper Spaces computers have 16 gigabytes of, uh, of VRAM for graphics. They have 32 gigabytes of RAM for the machine. Um, they can really run things on you know, high or ultra. So those, those machines are considerably more powerful than what you get with Liquid Sky. So that's just a consideration you know, in comparison. And uh, that, that's kind of my take. So I definitely want to know what you guys think about that in the comments. Now let's talk a little bit about my experience. So when I first set this up, I had a lot of trouble to be very honest with you so I bought my package installed the app on the PC and that part went fine but what I noticed very quickly was that as I was gaming if there was anything else going on on my network so like if the family was streaming video on like Roku or Apple TV downstairs while I was trying to play or even little things like pulling up a YouTube video on my phone um, it would disrupt the stream so you would notice artifacting on the stream uh, sometimes it would actually crash the stream altogether and I had a lot of that so it wasn't just like it happened every now and then it happened a lot and um, it would crash a lot while trying to install GTA 5 I spent days and days and days trying to install GTA 5 and it just kept crashing and so I reached out to their support which you know we don't get to do that with every single product that we review but it's good you know if you have to reach out to support you know the experience that you have with it should be part of the review in my opinion you know cause support is part of the the product right and uh, so their support is pretty standard it's uh, an email only affair you can't call them or anything so they just email you back and forth um, the experience that I had was that for the most part it took them about a day you know each time that they emailed you back so I emailed them the next day they emailed me then I you know, responded quickly they took about another day to write back now there were a couple times where they wrote back within a few hours but for the most part it was you know once a day kind of thing so if you're trying to game you know, especially if you're if you're renting that and you're excited and you're ready to play that can be a really drawn-out process although I will say you know compared to you know the way that things are supported in this modern world that we live in that's pretty much par for the course for a lot of things right so there are a few exceptions to that rule where you can speak to somebody or where they write back really quickly. So I won't say that their support, I wouldn't label it as bad. I would label it as expected, you know, not exceptional. Um, but at the end of the day, they weren't able to resolve it. What I found out after I dug into it myself was that their service just has a problem with the social club app that comes with GTA 5. So that they're just there's something that bumps heads and I found out after looking in their community forums and digging deep found out other people had the exact same issue and you just had to basically try to install it let it crash um, you know boot up the whole system again let it install a little bit more because it kind of picks up where it left off let it crash and that sort of thing so if you keep on doing it and are persistent you will finally get it installed and uh, but I wasted more than a week trying to get that figured out and um, you know take that for what you will 
Um, there is a bug in the system right now that if your game launches at a resolution that is different from the streaming resolution, it can also cause a crash. And it's something that they're aware about or are aware of, and hopefully they'll fix it. But I was kind of disappointed with how many bugs I ran into for something that is released and complete, according to them. And I felt like it should have been more refined because you know they are selling it and pricing it as something that is completely done and ready to go and it didn't feel that way to me and uh, you know if you look in the forums it doesn't feel that way to a lot of people so that's something to take into consideration and you know based on the pricing and everything you have to kind of make your own call as to whether you're willing to deal with some of the work that it takes to use the product you know on top of all that figuring out the right settings for a game to run smoothly it's not necessarily easy. So one thing that they're great about is that they do go on their blog and they, they give you some recommended settings for a lot of the popular games out there that you know for the gamer package. Because you know that's the cheaper package and they're you know that's what people gravitate towards because it's easier and you get more hours for it. So there's a good chance that if you want to play a specified game, you can go on their blog and they will have some settings recommended that you can try to you know maintain 60 FPS on that package. They don't have a ton of settings for the pro package though. So if you're trying to finesse out like what's the highest I can go and you know have a good experience with that, you're really just gonna have to kind of trial and error it yourself and figure out what those you know settings look like. So there's a lot of playing around with settings that goes into playing this product. And your build, you know, especially if you buy the sky credits, your build for all of this. So installing games costs you money. You know, and if you have a weird install or run into a bug, you're still paying money for that. Um, and if you have to play around a lot to try to figure out settings, you're paying for that as well. So that's something to, to keep into account as you think about, you know, do I jump on board with this? Do I not? Do I go somewhere else? So, you know, with all of that said, again, I want to hear from you in the credits or it, not in the credits, in the comments. And... I want to know what you think. You know, is that acceptable for a product that's been released for quite a while now? Um, you know, do you expect more polish from something that's charging as much as it is? So those are my thoughts, and uh, you know, I hope that that all makes sense to you. But as you saw, with all that said, you know, if you do put the time into it, and you do make sure that you know your your network is doing as little as possible while you play, you can have experiences like the videos that I showed you earlier. So it is possible for it to work well. You just got to be ready to be, you know, dedicated to it. You have to put the time into it to get it right. Now, like I said before, they do have an Android app, and uh, the Android app surprisingly works decently well. So very few hiccups or holdups. Um, now I'm going to show you a little bit of Android gameplay as a bonus. So that's coming next, and um, I will say this really, really, really quick because I, I'm going to end with that video. If you like what you see, if you like my channel. Please subscribe to it because I do update it frequently. There's a lot of new products and news coming through the channel. Um, something that I want to promote today that's new is that Flickstick now has a website. You can find it at flickstick.com. And uh, I encourage you guys to go on the website and check it out. You can actually join the website. It's completely free. And there's a lot of things that are on the website now and that will be on the website in the future that you don't see in these videos. So you'll find extra articles, um, news, and extra tidbits even about the videos that we've made so if you want to get even deeper into the world of game streaming and cloud gaming go to flickstick.com and take a look and uh, as always you know like the video because that helps it to rank higher so that other people can enjoy it as well subscribe so that you get caught up and you get notified when new things come out from our channel and um, you know I'll leave you with a little bit of gameplay um, one more thing too so you'll notice that um, you know, in a minute, and I'm sure that that's going to pop up. I used some cool equipment to make the Android video side of this, so you'll see a cool controller. Um, it's actually an iPega controller, and I'm using an LG Stylo as the phone that I'm streaming with. And I, I put links below so that if you're interested in those products, you can see exactly what I used. And um, for the rest of the video, I used an Xbox 360s controller. There's a link below in the description for that as well, and. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Until next time, you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and we will talk soon.